Me. Come on, let's go. Jesus! We gotta get somewhere safe. Here? I think, yeah, I think we'll be all right here. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Now you're another one down. And what about Conrad? He, or rather you, should have been a bit less careless. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out, give you a little hint. No hint? Perhaps you think you can piece things together from the clues you found yourself. Good luck with that. Perhaps you've started to realize something that everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. This ship must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Wait, where's Conrad? Has anyone seen him? We got split up. I, I saw him. I, I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, uh, right? <clears throat> I saw Conrad. I saw him fall. He fell? Where is, is he okay? Did someone help him? I'm sorry, Julia. Oh, you idiot. That ain't everything, Fliss. This is Julia's goddamn brother you're talking about, so she deserves to know the truth. You asked me what I saw, I told you everything. That better be true. Okay, we're going back right now and we're gonna find my brother. Julia. He could be dying right now, we have to. We will, just not yet. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. 
Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. It's probably just your mind's way of telling you that I'm smothering you or something. Of course you don't believe me. You never do. This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Did you see the gold, anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. I found this safety manual. It seemed to be geared at people who have to handle chemicals that can cause heart palpitations. Hmm. We found a guy who died of a heart attack, real sudden, unexplained. What do you think actually happened on this ship? The ship was bound for San Francisco, but it hailed from a water purification plant in China. Apparently that's where it picked up the Manchurian gold. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. The ship got caught up in some kind of bad storm. There was a whole note about it in the engineer's logbook. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. Everything about this place is wrong. This is the most insane thing I've ever asked, but are we on a ghost ship? I don't know what else to think. I read a letter, I, I found it before. It said the guards here were scared of ghosts. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Hey! Over here! Help me out! I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Pull you up. Over here!
Gotta wait through here. Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival. Blown off course, bad cloud cover, but they couldn't get a read on their bearing. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Hey! Here! No freaking way! This thing actually still works? We're headed for a fifth street. Ah, good old shortwave radio! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Come in, please. Do you read us? Over. Oh, oh, uh, okay. At least there's someone listening. Uh, the signal's in and out, though. Uh, Mayday, Mayday, this is an SOS! Over! Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. We're on board an abandoned freighter. Our location is 12 degrees, 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Over. Come in, over. Come in, come in, please, anyone. Come in, over. Ant, come on! Hey, come here, look! Hey, look at this. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Are you kidding me? You? Come on. <laughs> Sounds like you're scared of someone stepping out of your shadow. Scared of my idiot brother getting himself killed? How about showing me some brotherly love? I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> 